Yo guys, what's up? In this video, I'm going to talk about the two original Battlefield 5 maps that are located in the east of North Africa. The Aerodrome in the Tobruk region in Libya and the Halfaya Pass in the border region between Egypt and Libya. Field Marshal Erwin Rommel arrived in Tripoli on February 6, 1941 and only took a few weeks to restore the order in Libya. The reason for Rommel's presence was a disastrous effort of the Italian army that had been attacked in Sidi Barani via a gap in the rear on December 8, 1940. A gap that had been spotted by Brigadier Eric Dorman Smith, the advisor of Major General O'Connor. 38,300 Italians became POWs in their own colony of Libya and the Brits made an 800 kilometer advance in 10 weeks. Many British soldiers embarked to Greece and Rommel's Africa Corps managed to secure Solomon. His mission was to capture the coastline of Egypt where British troops had been stationed since the Orabi revolt in 1882, even after the recognition of Egyptian independence in 1922, 40 years later. Egypt also had a large Italian community prior to the war, especially in Cairo, and as soon as Italy had declared war on France and Britain, all the Italian men were arrested and the women were left in poverty. Also, Egypt's ruler, King Farouk I, had Italian servants at his palace and would not part with them. He also ignored the blackout order, so his palace was the only place in town where the lights were on during the nights. On the night of February 4, 1942, King Farouk was forced to capitulate to be replaced by a government under Nahas. After World War II was over, Farouk would be reinstalled until 1952. Halfaya Pass on the border with Libya had been captured by the Brits during Operation Brevity on May 15th and 16th of 1941 but it was only an inconclusive limited offensive. Brevity was intended to be a rapid blow against weak Axis frontline forces in the nearby Solom Capuzzo Bardia region. It started off great, but local Axis counterattacks destroyed the early gains. German reinforcements rushed to the front and the operation was called off. The Brits withdrew to the Halfaya Pass but 11 days later, Rommel recaptured the Halfaya Pass during Operation Scorpion. The Brits started to prepare for Operation Battle Axe and carried it out between June 15th and 17th, but it became a horrible defeat because of strong defensive positions created by Rommel. Knowing that the Halfaya Pass is about 2 miles inland from the Mediterranean Sea and Tobruk is a vital port, also, the siege of Tobruk was an important battle. The Allies fought the Axis from April 10, 1941 until November 27, 1941 and prevailed. Even though they had lost in Operation Zonnenblume, the first offensive that was led by Rommel. The miraculous occupation of Tobruk denied the Axis a supply port closer to Egypt's border with Libya. Only Benghazi was a port under Axis control close to Egypt. The brave Tobruk garrison repulsed several Axis attacks and saw frequent bombardments by artillery, dive bombers and medium bombers. Allied naval forces ran the vital blockade, carrying reinforcements and supplies in and transporting wounded men and POWs out. British forces were assisted by Australians, Indians, Poles and Czechoslovaks and were even commanded by Australian Lieutenant General Leslie Morshead who was replaced by British Sir Ronald Scobie in September of 1941. The Axis ultimately recaptured the Tobruk port on June 21, 1942 
after a win in the Battle of Gazala between May 26th and June 21st of 1942. Rommel exploited this success by pursuing the fleeing Brits into Egypt and therefore he postponed Operation Hercules, a plan to attack the island of Malta. This resulted in a resupplied Allied base on Malta and ultimately in an Axis defeat at El Alamein. It led in the end for Rommel, especially after the Allied landings in the African parts of Vichy, France in November of 1942. Six months later, the Axis were fully defeated in North Africa. See you on the next one guys. Peace.